Hello everyone and welcome back to Scotia.com. The cell stores chemical energy in the form of energy-rich metabolites. The most important metabolite of this type is adenosine triphosphate, ATP, which drives many energy-dependent reactions via energetic coupling. In the previous video, we talked about anaerobic ATP production where I mentioned the term energetic coupling. So what is energetic coupling? Energy coupling, by definition, stands for a concept of coupling two biological reactions, meaning energy generated from one reaction is used to drive the second reaction. Two different reactions or biological systems are coupled together or put into synchrony this way. An exergonic reaction is a type of spontaneous reaction where there is release of free. Here free energy is negative while endergonic reactions are the reactions where energy enters the system. The free energy here is positive and they are not spontaneous. For coupling, the two reactions must be linked in such a way that a common intermediate arises. This connection is illustrated here using the example of the glutamine synthetase reaction. Ammonia is a toxic metabolite that can be harmful for the body. Now glutamate help in its elimination by binding itself with ammonia and making glutamine. But direct transfer of ammonia to glutamate is endergonic and need 14 kilojoules per mole of energy so it cannot take place. In the cell, the reaction is divided into two exergonic steps. First, the gamma phosphate residue is transferred from ATP to glutamate. This gives rise to an energy-rich, mixed acid anhydride. In the second step, the phosphate residue from the intermediate is substituted by ammonia, and glutamine and free phosphate are produced. Now let us make this simpler with writing it down in energy balancing equation. In the first equation, glutamate reacted with ammonia and to form glutamine and water molecule. This will require 14 kilojoules per mole of energy. In the second reaction, this ATP and water molecule will form ADP and inorganic phosphate, releasing 31 kilojoules per mole of energy. The energy balance of the reaction is the sum of the changes in free enthalpy of direct glutamine synthesis plus ATP hydrolysis, which will be 17 kilojoules per mole. Now overall reaction will be written as glutamate with combination of ammonia and ATP forms glutamine with ADP and inorganic phosphate. Hope you have understood basic concept of energetic coupling now. Let us move towards energy conservation at membrane. 